fans, we move on in the action here in our second fight of tonight's bout put on by El Trigas promotion. It will be a four round contest in the super welterweight division. Let's meet first out of the blue corner. Please welcome Nubian Houston. As you were saying, Dan, you were saying, Dan, Mr. Uh, Nubian Houston, uh, speak Nub on that a little Nubian bit. Nubian Houston, yeah. So he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's a professional. He's had seven fights. He hasn't won. Right. However, he's, he's, he's had six losses and one draw. Um, the only thing is, is you've got to look a bit deeper sometimes and see who they've actually fought. Now, a big amount of the people he has fought in this short career so far have been debutantes. So they fought for the first time. Mm -hmm. Now, out of them debutantes, I'm pretty sure without looking, the worst one did a, a, had a record currently of around 13 wins, two fights. Oh, okay. And they're the worst ones. Some of them are like 12 and 0, 18 and 0, things like that. Absolutely. So, I don't think sometimes, I think you need to look a little bit closer about who they fought. Now, obviously, the biggest thing for me, the, the biggest thing is the fact that he's been out the ring for seven years. Um, but he could be a potential surprise. The thing is, he's getting in there with a debutante Another himself one. again with Robert Reyes Jr. So he's the taller man, the younger man. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, it's a winless fighter against a guy that we know nothing about, practically. So, you know, it's it's kind of a coin flip. That's what makes these fights so fun, especially these undercard fights where you're just looking. Both fighters are looking to pick up their first win, but the stories are entirely different. So it makes it extremely interesting. It does, yeah. And like I say, at the end of the day, this guy has been in there with David Sons before. Is Robert Reyes Jr. as good as them? We'll soon find out. But he's the younger man. He's the taller man. He's a southpaw, which obviously never makes things easy. Absolutely. So yeah. we'll see. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, to be fair. Okay. I will say at the weigh-in um, yesterday, he did look in fantastic shape. Um, and again, the younger, taller man. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We've obviously got loads more to come as well. Um, no as far as the the next fight, we've got. You know, again, a, a really interesting one. I want to talk to you about something a little bit later. Absolutely. Um, about the next fight. I'm going to save it, and everybody out there will talk about that very shortly. But Absolutely. I'm going to go now to the comments to see who's watching. Um, again, I told you we were going to say hi to you guys. So let's have a look who's around. Last time someone offered me a fight in the ring, and I accepted. Well, there you Didn't go. Didn't come, though, did he? No, no. Yeah. You're here. You, yeah, yeah, let's go, champ. <laughs> let's have a look. Hey, that's 1-0 and in my book, baby. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Let's have a look here. So we've got uh, Evan Ross said, dude fighting orthodox, but leading with his right hand. Interesting. Hmm. Cheers for your comment, mate. Um, we've got Chris Cardenas. Thanks for watching, buddy. Um, says, killer club. Um, let's go, Reyes. We've got big fans for Reyes. Looks like here is Nubian Houston. I will say, took his time coming to the ring. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Looks like he came from the back parking lot. <laughs> looks like it's going to take another seven years to get to the ring. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hey, as long as he's ready to fight when he gets here, we'll, hey, that's the we'll call thing. the action. Nice, polite lad, though, we'll say, him and his brother. Making his way around, taking his time. That is one thing. How You know, i got to wonder how the nerves feel. You have... Seven fights on your resume, all losses, one or excuse me, six losses, one draw. Your opponent is a, like as you said, a debutante. It's his debut match. Yeah. So, how do the nerves feel? I wonder for both fighters. That's it. It's a very much an unknown. We see this quite a lot of in recent years um, with the actually, coincidentally the Mexicans over in the UK. They, they don't know much about them, but they come over here. Absolutely. And they just take them out. And now you're your opponent. A fresh face to the world of professional boxing. Please give a warm welcome to Robert Reyes Jr. And Dan, you heard the crowd erupt at the sound of Robert Reyes's name. He may be fresh faced, but he is definitely bringing some fire to the place. There is no doubt about it. He is I, I hope he's talented. I mean, I hope he's, so. he's, he's a young lad. I mean, without, you know, I'm not that way inclined, but he's a good looking lad. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's, he seems like a, a, a and nice that is a lad. Factor. That's absolutely Great a factor. shape, yeah. southpaw, tall. I mean, he's got all the right tools, but let's see if they equate to a good performance. Been walked in by another great guy and a fantastic fighter himself, and Alicia Castaneda from the ABL. Yeah, 
no doubt about it. It's, you know, you mentioned that you don't have to be, you know, inclined that way. You don't have to be anything to, because when you, you just look at who's popular in the sport, it's the guys that don't get touched too much. They still have the pretty faces. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm so ugly. I got punched too much. Absolutely. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, absolutely. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Been yeah, absolutely maybe off, maybe yeah. I haven't been punched enough. Maybe Thousands of miles away to be abused online. <laughs> Appreciate that, mate. Yeah. Keep, keep your comments coming in. Uh, Ernest Bustos, Bustos checking in. Wish I was there, brother. Top man, thanks for your uh, your comment. And Juan Dominguez, uh, let's go. Let's go, mate. Please do me a favor, everybody watching. Please share the stream uh, and send us a comment. Like the, like the stream so we can get more people watching and you know more opportunities for these guys. All right, fight fans. Let's meet our combatants. Introducing first to my left in the blue corner. They're an experienced fighter entering their eighth pro contest with 22 previous bouts on their record. Still searching for that elusive first victory. Representing Shreveport, Louisiana. Please welcome Nubian Houston. And their opponent, standing in the red corner. Tonight, they make their professional debut in front of their hometown crowd from Galveston, Texas. Please welcome Robert Reyes Jr. Our referee, James Green. And moving his head well early. But again, circling off to that side. Hopefully, we'll find like that, yeah. Got Reyes. Smith with that right hand there. Yeah. Reyes. Reyes claims back of the head. Oh, lovely right hand. Yeah. Time that Good really. timing. We're seeing the speed of Houston is getting him caught in traps. Already the mouthpiece falling out. Has to be very, very careful leaning, falling forward on the front foot. Like Reyes, that, see that right there? That's that, that's that debut. The mouthpiece fell out for Houston. Reyes could have clocked him. Good he, right he's doing an excellent job parrying these jabs, working his way in. Houston's mouthpiece is out. The referee does not see it. Calling time. There we go. Of course, this happens at all levels of the sport. You gotta wash the mouthpiece out, get it back in, and get back to fighting. This could actually be good for Houston. Calms down Reyes just a bit. Look at this Houston now coming out in the southpaw. Reyes boxes him in. Good head game, movement. And Houston is switching his stance a good bit, but it won't do much good if you're fighting in a foam boot. Hard shots by Reyes. Houston's eyes are glazing a little bit. A little bit of a blink there. Houston trying to, oh my goodness. He is trying to explode in and timing beats speed every time, Dan. Absolutely right. Nice double jab though by Houston. Absolutely. He has the athleticism and explosiveness. We're seeing that. He moves well. I think if, if the biggest thing, the biggest win here for Houston is his footwork. If you look at the, the amount of energy that Houston's ex, ex, expelling from just trying to run around and run away. Yeah, no doubt about it. Look, look at it doing. He's doing it right now. Look, absolutely. And Reyes is economical. Now with look this at the difference work. in. So if you, the best person to look at with this is someone like um, Gennady Golovkin. Yes. Now he's not having to chase him. He's cutting the ring off. He's move. He moves to his. Yes. If he moves to his left, he's moving to his right. He moves to his right. He's moving to his left. He's cutting the ring off. He doesn't absolutely. need to chase him. And it's short economical footwork. Tiny steps can box people in so quick. I will say though, it feels like Reyes is getting frustrated. Yeah, absolutely. You got to think he might have thought he was going to oh, put him away body already. Shot. Again, great body shot there by Houston. <laughs> and 
And I think Reyes needs to get to the end of this round and have his corner calm him down because he is not setting anything up. Ten seconds left in the round. Ooh, Good body shot, shot on the exit by Houston. And again, pulling. Oh, he's looking away. Oh, ooh, it's not like that. Again, look, again, though. It's a good learning fight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just think that if I'm in his corner now, I'm saying, listen, let's calm it down now. Absolutely. Let's stop trying to be baited into any of his games. Take your time. Press him. Press him. Use your jab. Don't, you know, let him run around as much as you want. Put the ring off. Don't chase him round. Good start, really. You know, it's his first round of his entire career. So, go. do you know what? Good on him. But, you know, Houston again, you know, threw some good body shots in that round, I thought. Yeah, do you no think? doubt. Absolutely, I completely agree, and I think you're you're right, calming him down, because we saw when he started, it was timing the jab and good fundamentals in boxing, but then by the end of it, he was throwing those naked right hands, just swinging them wild. Houston already kind of taking some big breaths from what I see. Now, his cardio could be good, could be wrong, but I saw big, deep breaths. Especially hit, considering it's the end of the first round. Yeah, and Reyes with the histrionics telling him, you know, come to the center, pulling him, snatching on the back of the head, all these, you know, they call it dirty boxing. To me, it's just all boxing. To, and me, that's the to me, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, to people out there don't like it, but the truth of it is you've <laughs> only got to look at someone like like Bernard Hopkins, the executioner. Yes. He made a career out of it. Yeah, you no know, doubt. It, it, it depends how you do it and how intricate you are about it. Lomachenko, he's another one who does silly things, but they're silly, but they're legal if Absolutely. you do it the right way. Yeah, no so doubt Twone, about it. Twone Zander said on chat, Houston's round, to be honest. I don't, I don't see that. Myself, yeah, I don't know. see it either. Maybe three or four body shots in there. He kind of snuck in some stuff near the end, but most of that round I saw for Reyes. Now, we could be oh, wrong. <laughs> we, it, That's why we love this. Wrong. Oh, the good body shot. Yeah. Oh, right time call. Gonna, Ooh. Is he having a chat with a bit to the back, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. You got to be careful. And that's the kind of thing you don't always get that in sparring. If you don't have sparring partners that are willing to rough you up a little bit, you may not know oh, what it's like to get in these situations where someone's pulling on the back of your head. Good jab there. That jab is thumping. Again, look what he's doing. He's slowing it down. His corner's told him to do the right thing. He's not leaning forward. Yeah. He's not falling over his front foot. He's, look, he's comfortable. He's relaxed now. This is, this is good corner work from him. Yeah, you have to force Houston team. to explode in. And when he explodes in, you time it with the jab. And that jab has actually been doing some damage. Oh, it's Ooh. a big right hand. Did, did catch it slightly, though. Yeah. He was lucky there. Just at the last second, got that glove up. And again, the mouthpiece comes out. I don't think the referee's seen it, to be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Reyes turns it up now. Houston in a bad way. The crowd has gone electric. The referee's got to break that up and get his gum shot back in. Big flurry from Reyes there. That mouthpiece has got to stay in. Good job there. You saw the difference from round one to round two. Where in round one, Reyes led up, let him get the mouthpiece back in his you mouth. see Felix Ramirez over there saying, calm down, yeah. calm down. And that's exactly right. He just needs to, just missed with that left hook there, though, by Houston. But yeah, he just needs to chill out, calm down. Don't get fed, don't take any of the bait. Ooh, good right hand there. And I tell you, for Houston, I'd like to see the jab, jab to the body and then throw the overhand. You've got the taller fighter in there. That overhand's going to go right through his head. He just needs to keep his shape. Straight shots. Don't fall in the front foot. Let him run around as much as you want. Put the ring on. Absolutely. The referee letting him fight on the inside here. I like Oh, that was a good shot. How he reached around then to get his body. That was actually yeah, really no cool. Doubt. Went around behind the back of the elbow. <laughs> it's a good shot. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's Very the taller smart. fighter. Yeah. yeah. Normally, normally the inside game favors the smaller man with the shorter reach, but Reyes having none of it. And it looked almost like Houston. I don't like the uppercut. You've got to reach so far to find the head on the uppercut. He's turned southpaw now, Reyes. Yeah, absolutely. Both, oh, he's back both fighters. Okay, yeah, both switch. fighters have been switching a good bit. Good hook, moves the body. There's just more power. I'd just like to see straight shots There here. it is. Got him in the phone booth now. Hammering shots. Caught him all, though. Didn't catch him with one of them. You saw Houston with the stray overhand at the Ooh, end there. Ooh, got a bit of a chat there. Yeah. A bit of a subconscious chat there. There we go. Both men feeling froggy. Somebody's going to jump here as we enter into the third round of this matchup. It's been a great fight so far. It certainly has. 
I'd probably give round two to Reyes as well, but there's no doubt. These are close rounds, though. What I liked about it is how he, and anybody else in the chat out there, Swone has never said Reyes round in control. Absolutely. Did you notice that the way that the movement went within the ring? Absolutely. Now, in the first round, Reyes was just chasing it everywhere. Where is he? What his corner, in my opinion, probably would have said, and we'll speak to him about him after, is stop chasing him. Yeah. Keep your shape, let him come to you, walk him onto something. Because that's what he was doing in that round at times. Don't get me wrong, he still pressed at times, but yeah. he didn't fall in, he kept his shape. So, no, it was, inter uh, it was good, that was. It was a better round for him. Yeah, no doubt about it. I, I still thing. think he won the first. For sure. But for sure. the second was but clear it's, on it's for the us. distance began to grow a little bit there. And you see, it's, it's that footwork, that's what sets those traps. You know, you take a guy who's wanting to explode and dance and do all this stuff, and now you've got him tap dancing in a phone booth and their head is on display. It's a good yeah. left up there by yeah, Houston. Absolutely. Reyes trying to feel his way in. That's it, stick on your jab, that's what you need to be doing. I see he walks into distance with his hands down a lot though, mm -hmm. Reyes. If you watch closely, you'll know what I mean. Look, did you see that? Absolutely, yeah. His that's where he's getting caught with that counter left hook. I think he's counting on the reach to keep him safe. And if and that'll work yeah, if you're leaning back. Exactly. But if, or even keeping your shape, but leaning forward, it won't. You'll Absolutely. walk onto something. You're leaning so, in just like that. Good job by Houston. He's having a good round so far, Houston. Houston is feeling loose, there's no doubt about it. Oof. Like that. Load, loading up a lot, though, isn't it? Houston does not have the combinations that Reyes does, and you've seen it there. Oh, Reyes pouring it on. We saw just shoved him through the rope. Referee's saying a slip. It's a slip. It's yeah. a slip. His corner really aren't happy here, but it, that's not a knockdown for me. And he body blocked him with it. But if he doesn't get up, that is going to count. Oh, is that a knockdown? Really? The referee's oh, no, calling a knockdown. And that looked to me like you lent on him. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree completely. Now that being said, if Houston is hurt and did need that standing eight, then the only issue is that he's going to need a stoppage. Absolutely, Houston's going to need a stoppage. There's no doubt about it. That's going to be tough because Reyes is throwing a million shots. But again, he's chasing him around the ring. Cut Absolutely. the ring off. I would love to see Houston hit the check hook. Now this is the point where you press him. Don't let him escape out of this left corner Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Press him, keep him in that corner. Oh, it's a good right hand. Houston is staying in the pocket. He's, He's hurt. Wobbled. He's hurt. He's down that's again. A, that's a knockdown. Houston says back of the head. Referee says no, sir. He says he's done. Reyes is absolutely in his groove now, and it's absolutely. good to see. And Houston has just said, I'm done. I don't think the referee's acknowledging it. Yeah, he is done. It's over. And there you have it. Robert Reyes with the first victory. One fight, one win in the hometown of Galveston, Texas. Congratulations to Robert Reyes. I imagine how he feels now. I mean, it's his first fight. He, had, he didn't have it all in his own way, which was good, and I like that. Yeah. I like it. But he's in his own town. He's a young lad. Good on him. Good on him. Absolutely, no doubt. It's the hometown story. And Houston knew, too. Once that second shot knocked him down, he, he signaled with his hand, with his glove. He said, no, I'm out. I'm exactly. out. He told the referee. He even looked across to Reyes and kind of put up the hand and said, yeah, you got me. You when when a fighter's doing that, listen, yeah, listen I know we like the entertainment stuff, but everybody wants to go home to the families, do you know what I mean? So, absolutely. no arguments for me, I agree completely. Not. When the fighter says no, you got to get him out of there. You can't have trainers and referees saying you're good, you're good, you're good. That's when things get, na things get ugly. We've seen it in the history of boxing. We don't have to go there because it's, it's a good history-making moment. Robert Reyes picks up a win. Congratulations. And Houston is dancing in the corner. He's saying, I got paid. I don't know. <laughs> the man still got money for the fight. Well, he, he did at yeah. the end of the day. I mean, that's the way to look at it. It's one way. I mean, he's he, being a good he did right. He, he did all right. I mean, he's, yeah. he's, 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 let's say he's, not, he's never going to be a, a, a world beater. He might never even be a contender. But, you know, at the end of the day, give him a decent test. So, yeah, no you know, doubt. Let's, let's just uh, take that as a win. He got the rounds in. Yeah, no doubt good about learning it. experience. Great fight by Reyes. The hometown boy picks up the victory. He's going to get these gloves off and raise his hand.
We're going to be having a short intermission very shortly. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we've got some, honestly, some really, really good fights coming up. Really looking forward to them. One thing I do like about the fights here in, in Houston is how they're never one-sided. Yeah. Which, which is like, I like. Yeah, no doubt about it. And hey, let's throw it up to Justin Simmons. Get the official announcement for the hometown hero here at the Galveston Convention Center. Fight fans. The action comes to a halt with 229 into the third round. The winner by KO starting their professional career off with a bang. It is Robert Reyes. Junior! Again to Robert Reyes.